All right, it is 9 a.m. August 1st, and I'm already sweating, and I ain't even done a call yet. I'm like soaking wet. I'm headed to this church, no cool, and it's kind of like a commercial situation. Condensers are on the roof. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, so we're at the church. It was a bad X13 motor up in a drop ceiling. Right now we got it, it was a pretty old system, so we got it cleaning. This is the right way to do it if you're gonna replace the motor. Here we go. Clean it out. She's clean. Put her back in. I'm sitting here filling out my notes that one was pretty easy just that blower motor in the ceiling and then i upgraded our thermostat just to a is old unit so just to like a, a new honeywell t4 they didn't want to replace the system because they're about to move buildings so uh we got her going for them you might have to come back and double check everything because he's still frozen up all right so this call I got to meet an inspector. I was just here not too long ago. The inspector says the temp split on these water source link units are too low. I get there, everything's fine, pressures are good. Uh, these units are located on an outdoor closet. So as soon as you open that door, all that outdoor hot air comes in. So I got to see how he's measuring his temperatures. But I'm meeting him here. I'm not sure how much I can film or what don't want to make the guy look like a dummy or not um, but on that I'm, I'm gonna film it and show you guys what I find at least if I do find something so I'm pulling in here and uh, I'm getting here a little early so I can get a jump start on it uh, water source units are sometimes finicky Turn things because the lot. they get their cold water from a cooling tower and if that cooling tower acts up is not doing right you'll have issues but last time I was here, everything was perfect. 85 degree temp coming in, about 95 degree temp coming out. You've entered the parking lot for 15, your destination. 15 degree split inside the unit. But we're going to find out what low means for this guy. So I'm finding a parking spot. Arrived. Yeah, outside air. Here's the AC right here. I'm going to plug all my stuff up to it, all my gadgets. So these are my water temps, and this is my air temps. Looks fine. Well, so that water source unit, it looked like a bad TXV. We had a high suction pressure, like 190 over 298, and uh, compressor ohmed out fine because sometimes that could be compressor ratio if you have some bad ohms could it weak uh, amps it could be bad compressor but that ohmed out fine uh, amps were fine so we're going to be a txv but you have to pull that whole unit out just to get to the txv and replace it so we're going to give him an estimate uh, it's not under warranty so we're also going to give him a replacement estimate when it's this kind of situation homeowner selling the condo I always get both um, just to be prepared so it makes their decision a little easier what they want to get done. Most of the time they go with repair because they just want to get it fixed so they can sell. But if it's not much price difference they and they're not under contract yet, they can make a little more money if they go with a new system under warranty. So that's what we're doing. Um, we're getting them uh, repair versus replacement costs and go from there. Next up, go into the next one.